Windows Management Instrumentation, or WMI, consistently ranks in Red Canary's top 20 threats each year. This year alone, we've detected more than 700 confirmed threats leveraging WMI. Our incident handling team has seen WMI in attack toolkits like Empire, Metasploit, and Cobalt Strike, and it's a staple of many ransomware threats in Trojans. I'm Matt Graber. I'm the Director of Threat Research at Red Canary. I'm Greg Bailey, the Director of Incident Handling at Red Canary. How would you define Windows Management Instrumentation, or WMI? Is generally a administrator tool. It's something that I think is very common in a lot of organizations with a lot of IT administrators and system admins who need to automate tasks or do, do scripting from the command line. Matt, what are some of the most common ways adversaries leverage WMI? We see it used most often for execution, specifically using it to spawn a process either locally or remotely to facilitate lateral movement. All right, so Greg, put your adversary hat on. Why would you in particular choose to leverage WMI over any other technique? I'm gonna choose something like this every time over anything else that's gonna be louder or noisier. If it's my choice from an adversary perspective, I love these types of techniques because these are commands that are built into the operating system. So Matt, what advice do you have for security teams as they look to improve their visibility or prioritize their coverage? I'm really hopeful and I'm seeing evidence of improved security optics into these platforms that detect a wider range of WMI tradecraft. There's built-in logging already that offers a great deal of potential detection coverage, whether it's detecting WMI persistence via the uh, WIMI-activity event log, or by identifying suspicious child processes of specifically WMIPRVSE.exe. So you've got the logging already at your hands.